Hallo und willkommen zurück, meine lieben Freunde. Ich bin's, euer Oro. Hm. Zurück bei Disco Elysium. Es hat so ausgesehen, als wäre es aus das letzte Mal schon. Wir hatten einen riesigen Showdown, aber... Das Einzige, was passiert ist, ist, dass viele Leute gestorben sind. Wir aber noch immer leben und noch immer nicht wissen, wer den Typen umgebracht hat. Ähm... Wir sind angeschossen worden und offensichtlich waren wir zwei Tage außer Gefecht. Der gute Kim hat sich um uns gekümmert. Und wir überlegen, was wir als nächstes tun werden. Okay. Ähm, es gibt ein paar Dinge, die ich auf jeden Fall sagen wollen will. Das mit dem Hole in the Wall, sagen wir als erstes auf jeden Fall. Um, what about a hole in the ouch wall? Someone was checking her out. I don't know. That's been there for years. Glaubst du? Könnte auch sein, dass es noch gar nicht so alt ist. The damn footprints. Yes. God cursed the footprints. Not solving the case wires. Au diable. <laughs> An antique bullet from a Belma grave, 4.46 mm. How hard can it be to find one? It's extremely easy. There are thousands lying around. We found one. All completely unusable. It's precisely how easy it is to find one that makes the bullet useless. There are all these old bunkers and broken caches. Revolutionary era. Something creeping around out there. What is? Something. Hmm. There are all these none. You know what I think about solving the crimes? Brow. The ceiling fan patiently spins overhead. Solving crimes is hard. Solving crimes is almost impossible. Solving crimes is super easy. Actually, I want to talk about this crime some more before I tell you. What I think about its hardness. It really is very hard. You are not ready to give up, are you? No. Are you ready to limp? I'm ready. Good. Where do you want to limp to? We have a good name. Hehe. Stop. Yeah. A gust of wind blows in from the bay. The duraluminium box around you vibrates imperceptibly. A familiar cold, a red thread on the roof upstairs. Taut, plucked like a string by the gust. We should check Miss Aranya Disco Dancer's room ups. Why not? Another look at the window, perhaps? The one he was shot through. I don't know. I can't think of anything better. Oh. We can also go with the door. Look, the door is open. You can walk right into Kim's room. You see gleaming white animal, no bottles inside. Ich This stereo 8 player has been reunited with its right speakers. Und mein Fenster ist auch nicht mehr kaputt. Newly replaced glass shining in the morning light. You hear traffic outside, back in the world again. Arm is set on safety. Hmm, medicinal supplies in the cupboard. Eurochrome, a scalpel, antibiotics. Oh, I have to be careful. These papers bear the stamp of the RCM. They appear to be fragments of the lieutenant's paperwork, half finished. You may have notes on this and other recent cases. 
I had Garth open the door to your room. You were running a low bacterial fever the first night. Oh, thank you for keeping this thing alive a little longer. It would have been easy were it not for my concussion. We both got lucky, considering the odds we faced. Let's go. Oh, we can do nicht raus. Ich muss doch durch den anderen Eingang. The fan stands still. Okay. Ouch, that leg hurts. Maybe if you don't run, it will be okay. Echt jetzt? Ich soll langsam gehen? Ugh. Hmm, looks like she's left something on the table. Und zwar... Next to the stack of bills, you see a note. A few lines jotted down in large, uneven handwriting. Just as the writer was about to rush out the door. I'm sorry, I fucked everyone over. P.S. I didn't kill him. P.P.S. Gift upstairs. Sure. A gift. Oh, vielleicht die Blumen. Ah, ich Schokolade. And it turns to the staircase suspiciously, looking for any signs of another presence in the shadows above. Hmm. I am not drawing my gun yet, but I don't like gifts. He says he's not, but his hand moves instinctively toward his holster as he studies the note. Relax. Not everyone is out to trap you. Was du wohl Du hast dich nicht getraut. It's hardly surprising. The medicine cabinet is empty. Not even a toothbrush. Hmm. Pity. <laughs> Mm -hmm. She certainly had her priorities straight when she was packing. <laughs> A red thread. Made of nylon, it needs to. Was? Das ist unser Dings, das ist unser Schuss. This window is pristine, at least on the inside. This is ballistics. She's left a trajectory for us. Hmm. Visual calculus. Na gut. No. We're not failing this. You didn't get shot for nothing. Close your eyes and open them. You can do this. You've done it before. Golden light melts away into the blue glassy darkness of your mind. In it are two neon lit shapes. A man and a woman. And in zwei gewürfelt. <coughs> what positions are they in? Like the witness said, the man is kneeling. The woman is on her back. It's the night of March 4th, and a shot has just been fired. The man looks directly at the woman. The shot's possible directions converge in his mouth. A ray cast from somewhere outside, entering his brain. The red thread bisecting the room shows the trajectory of the bullets. Mm -hmm. Where does it come from? From the roof outside, location A prime. The glass fractures around the bullet hole. Shards face inwards like a corona behind the woman's back. Where does the thread lead? Maybe if you extrapolate all possible points of origin first, 
The threat will make sense. Inspector goes The lift. man does not know the bullet has entered his brain. He never will. Death comes faster than the realization. Aber das Problem ist, es schaut so aus, als wäre er von hinten erschossen worden, aber der, die Kugel muss von vorne in seinen Kopf eingedrungen sein. Warte mal, oder sie liegt hier und er steht da, oder wie? Ruby ruled this out vehemently. The shot would have been heard from downstairs, when no one heard it. The likelihood of A prime has fallen drastically. You may be looking for a sniper. The shot had to come from a greater distance, beyond A prime. Should we extrapolate to include every possible point of origin in Martinez? Extrapolate the radius to include all of Martinez. According to your map of the district, this shot could have come from a wide angle of locations, starting with the northern edge of the abandoned boardwalk, ending with an islet in the bay. Let's call them B prime. More precisely. B prime for boardwalk, B double prime for land's end, and B triple prime for the islet detective. There may be smaller points in between, but those are too fine to zoom in on. Look at point B prime, the boardwalk. 700 meters away. The likeliest of these B positions, 20% chance. A skilled sniper could have made the shot. Provided he had a safe sniper's nest. Even with the light on inside, we're talking military training. At that distance, the perpetrator would have had to take wind direction into account. Okay. This would explain why no one heard the gunshot. The bullet came from far away. B double prime. 1.2 kilometers away, the least likely of these positions, let's say 3%. A truly skilled sniper could have done it, possibly from a tent. Mm -hmm. No, too far-fetched. B triple. One kilometer away, an unlikely point of origin. Beyond the docks somewhere, on an islet in the Bay of Martinez, perhaps. There are islets there. Badly charted as they may be. Okay. The shot <coughs> would have been a small miracle. 5% likelihood. There is an extremely narrow field of view from the bay to the window. Between Rue de saint Gislain 8B and 33A. The angle would have been extreme and access to the islets is questionable. But it is a possibility. Then, there's the thread the witness left. She did have a first-hand view of the event. Perhaps she found something in the outer reaches of her memory of it. You need to inspect it again. I extrapolated all the points of origin now. Where does the thread be? It suggests the bullet came from the extreme upper quadrant of possible angles. From a point beyond the roof. B triple prime. Okay. The island in the bay. It's the window in Klaas's bedroom. Hmm. She trying to tell us the shot came from the island. Unless she thinks the perpetrator was standing on the ring antenna. That is where the threat seems to point. How did she know how to do this? She was there that night. She would have known precisely where the bullet hole was in the glass. Hmm. The stimmt. She had a long time to think about it after, standing on that roof, staring at the glass. It also looks like there may be more to her skill set than we know. The question is, should we trust her? Hmm. Of course we don't trust. This is her way of saying she's sorry. I just don't know. We trust near nicht. I don't know. At this point... What difference does it make? Also one of the few places in Martinez we haven't been to. So it is. Mm. 
For a second he seems tired. Maybe we need to go to the island. <sighs> okay. The lead is flimsy. You might as well go around Martinez, looking under every rock and talking to every person. But what else is there? Kim, let's go to the fucking island. I'm going to the island. Are you in? Actually, yeah. Let's not go to the island. What else is not there? A lot. No. Okay, let's go to the fucking island. How do we get there? Joyce Messier had a sloop, but she's gone. Lydia and the Nath Picker are in her boat. Ah, yes, of course. The village. Let's go. Two neon lit shapes. A man and a woman have him. Okay. Lasst uns runtergehen wieder. Hm. Mal schauen, ob die zwei Polizisten noch da sind. Nein, nein. Und auch der Dings ist nicht da. Gott. Oh, you're up. It's good to see you back on your feet. Did you like your room? I cleaned it for you. Oh, jetzt sind wir plötzlich besser drauf und freundlicher. I did, thank you. Big improvement. Could have used more work. After all, I just took a bullet in the face. This was too distracted to notice. Oh, that's very fies. Oh God, this is so good. We can so totally man nice spielen. To wake up in a clean place after you, let's be fair, defended this establishment and its clientele from gunfire. I give credit where credit is due, and that, sir, was a nice shot. I was watching until you hit him. Crawled inside then. Bullets started flying. Anyway. <clears throat> I wish you a quick recovery. Also, you and your partner are staying here free now. This establishment supports cops. Stay as <laughs> Jetzt free plötzlich. as the drinks or not. <laughs> Just felt I needed to specify that. <laughs> Did everyone go? Oh, you know. People don't tend to stick around after shootouts. Turns out they're not good for business. Tja, Arlene and Morel still in town. Ah, them. Nice people. But no, Lena said they were going back to Jamrock. I saw them pass by outside. This was before the fight started. I'm glad she got out of here before all that. Bullets flying and stuff. People inside were quite terrified, you know. I had to take action and step outside too. Okay, yes, that was for the best. I'm done looking for the best bit. I mean, you're a detective. Perhaps you can track them down. Shouldn't be that hard. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But all in due time. Crypto business is not a priority right now. You'll see Stimmt. her again one day. You know it. Things went like they did for a reason. Mm -hmm. Oh, fine, hero cop. Lena left a forwarding address. 1113 Tabernacle Road in Jamrock. If you see them again, do give them my best. What happened to the man with the sunglasses? I don't remember everyone who comes here. And many people wear sunglasses inside lately. Must be a fad. Okay, so I have to mention when it happened you right out there on the balcony. Yeah, I was. Yeah. That's because I'm a bad ass. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're a bad ass. <laughs> if you say it 
at it as two different words like that. It sounds like there's something wrong with your ass. He nods back at you, even more stoically. Just two badass men nodding stoically. Danke, physical instrument. Make that three. The lieutenant is nodding too, hands crossed. All right, thanks. No problem. And goodbye. Hey, aber der Bursch ist noch. Und die Hardy Boys sind auch noch da. Hi again, Gendarme. What is about the way he carries himself? Gab's the things schon vorher? Hmm. Bye bye, Gendarme. Da ist es. Na, da sind nicht mehr viele Hardy Boys übrig. Seeing you approach, the bruised man raises his bear in welcome. Crazy motherfucker. <whistles> Didn't think you had that fury in you. But I guess I've misjudged a lot of people lately. That was one hell of a shot. Hell of a shot. The fucks did not expect that. Mm -hmm. I guess what I'm trying to say here is, thank you for intervening, fellas. That was mighty brave of you. This is big. It's as big of a thank you as Titus Hardy can muster under any circumstances. No need to thank me, just doing my job. This was a pillow fight compared to the gloaming that is soon at end. We shall all perish in the coming cleanse. <laughs> shake his hand and nod in silence. Don't shake. Look, I need to talk to you. Actually, I just came to say goodbye. Okay. Well, cheers anyway, copper. Man kann nicht immer die dümmsten Sachen sagen. I'm sorry about the people you lost. Theo was old. I think he'd be pretty happy with the way he went. Never could imagine him withering away on a sick bed. But Angus, he was just a stupid kid. Didn't realize the mess he'd gotten into. Trusted me. Still, the balls on that kid went down fighting for someone else's shit like a fat, angry bear. Here it comes. The last one is the worst one. He only deals with it by drinking copious amounts of 8% beer. And Glenn. Glenn was my friend. Best I've ever had. I love that crazy homo like my own brother. We're all fucked without him. But what do you do? This job is shit. Hold on, what about the shank, that shanky Ferber? They were good people. I'm sorry it went like that. We are born into this world today, it seems. Maybe there's redemption in that. At least it ends one day. This is dark. Let's talk about happy stuff. Yeah. Man, getting shot has really squeezed all the funk out of you. Mark my words. One day we'll look back at this day and remember their courage, not their deaths. Mm-hmm. Claw you right. But today ain't that day. Do you know yet. what happened Is it? to us, yeah? Uh, what's going to happen to the Hardy Boys I now? I guess I'll take a closer look at our union members. There's bound to be some ambitious fellows there who'd love nothing more than advancing social democracy by busting some heads. <laughs> Might even ask Tibbs if he's tired of replacing Windows and maybe wants to have some fun with his brother. Anyway, don't you worry. As long as Titus Hardy stand in, there will be Hardy Boys. Okay. He's right. The numbers are replaceable. In an organization of thousands of men, 
there are plenty who join. Do you know what happened last no, no, don't care. I'll be glad if I never see that fucking woman again. Okay, after all we've been through, level of me, you really liked her, didn't you? Okay, got it. He nods and takes another sip of whiskey. Mm -hmm. Any idea what I should do now, man? Uh, so long, fellas. Be good so I don't have to come back here again. Take care, coppers. You two look after yourselves now. Death passed on you today, but men don't get that lucky twice. Copo loco. And, uh, huh. Normal cop, I guess. Good luck in Shamrock. Scars made the best tattoos, they say. Mm -hmm. Thanks for getting involved, guys. Not a lot of cops would step into that line of fire, but you did. And if you ever feel like the uniform is holding you back, I've got a few vacancies. You'd make one hard, hardy boy, copper. And Titus yeah, Harvey go. himself would make a good officer. That man was born to lead. Yeah, Sam could really use a man like you, Titus. Think about it. I will, Capo. That's a promise. Now, Scoot, because the Hardy Boys got some mourning and drinking to do. Mm -hmm. Take it easy on the drink. The danger has not passed. This town needs you on your feet. Good point, Fino Clard. <laughs> we'll keep the ball under 12% tonight. Vielleicht sollten wir... Oh. Was ist das? Und schon Chisera de Retour Bre... The graffito has been painted over the traces of the fight that took place here. It smells of blood and heavy fuel oil. This was Cindy the Skull. Looks like Cindy the Skull finally found the words for her masterpiece. The lieutenant crouches, touching the fuel oil with his finger. Looks like it, yes. This is still fresh. It wasn't here yesterday. I smell heavy fuel and oil. Blood. Some of it is even yours. Hmm. Heavy fuel oil. Isn't that flammable? Uh, step back, Lieutenant. It's on. The fuel oil catches fire immediately with an ominous hiss. Was auch immer wir gerade gemacht haben. You've been policed, Agnes. God, I'm on my way. Say nothing, stare grimly into the flames. The lieutenant flames. has taken a small step back. He looks at your face, illuminated by the flames, and nods silently. Then the fire falters. The flames warm him too. Not at all in a bad way. Let's go to that island. Slowly, the flames subside, the fuel burning out. The air. Okay. Go to the island. I mean, where the shot came from. Done. We have irgendetwas geschafft. Light the graffiti on fire with a burning cigarette. What it says on the can. Okay. Yeah, mehr als genug Pünktchen haben wir noch. Das heißt, wir können wir können mal versuchen, wieder rüber zu rennen. Ah, schön. Geht. Travel here. 
fisherman's shack. Auf zur Insel. Okay. Aber, das machen wir das nächste Mal erst. Bis dahin. Hoffe ich, hat es euch gefallen. Wir sehen uns bald. Bis dann.